Hey Linux fans, exciting news. MX Linux 23.5 has just been released. This lightweight Debian based distribution has some fantastic new updates, including XFC 4.20, Linux kernel 6.12 LTS, and much more. So let's dive in in MX Linux 23.5. So, what's new in, in MX Linux 23.5? Well, this is the fifth stable update for Liberto series and it is based on Debian 12.9 bookworm repositories. This means you are getting a rock solid stability of Debian with MX Linux signature enhancements. So let's talk about the cornerstone of this release, the XFC 4.2.0. This desktop environment brings some exciting new features including experimental VLAN. Yes, the VLAN is here. And it is a great step forward for smoother graphics and better multi-monitor setups. If you are already using MX Linux with XFC or a Raspberry Pi edition, you can grab the XFC 4.20 directly from MX Linux repositories. But that's not all. MX Linux 23.5 introduces several new applications in the test repositories and UI improvement across the system for more polished experience and better uh, support for packages from third-party repositories through MX package installers. And there's also a new handy feature on a live system. You will now get uh, extra warning if you enable persistence on read-only boot media. Let's talk about installer. It has been updated with the tweaks to the default app staff file and add fallback modes to handle tricky install. For those of you who are using Advanced Hardware Support Edition, there is even better news. The Advanced Hardware Support Edition now features updated firmware packages and Linux kernel 6.12.8 and this kernel is designed for ultimate responsiveness, especially if you had hardware issues with standard Linux 6.1 LTS kernel. So how do you get MX Linux 23.5? You can download the ISO images for XFC, KDE Plasma, Fluxbox and Raspberry Pi editions for, from their official web page. And these are available for both 32-bit and 64-bit architecture with the option to choose between Linux kernel 6.1 LTS or uh, Linux kernel 6.12 LTS for advanced hardware support edition and KDE, KDE Plasma editions. If you are already on MX Linux 23.23 Libretto, there is no need to download the new ISO. Just open the terminal and type sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade. If you are if you prefer GUI, use Synaptic Packet Manager to keep your system up to date. So that's everything about MX Linux 23.5. If you are an MX Linux fan, let me know in the comments what do you think about these updates. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more Linux content. So I will see you in the next one.